Greetings. Are you ready to learn math today? Come and join me in today's lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. In today's lesson, we will learn all about visualizing numbers up to 100,000 with emphasis on numbers 10,001 to 50,000. But before that, try to look at this situation. A group of farmers donated a total of 12,364 kilograms of rice to the typhoon victims. Can you imagine how big the number 12,364 is? Based on what we have read, do you think that the farmers gave large amount of rice to the typhoon victims? Can you picture it out in your mind how large the number is? Come, and let me help you visualize the numbers using a technique involving number disks. So, what should we do to use this number disks in representing numbers? The steps I will show, will guide you on how to use it. Take note. Step 1. Count the number of digits in the number and identify the place value of each digits. Step 2. Make a table which would separate the digits. Step 3. Add number disks which would represent each place value. To further understand what I am saying, let's use the steps in representing the number given earlier. The number was 12,364. Step 1. Count the number of digits in the number. 12,364 has 5 digits. Then know the place value of each digits. 4 is in the 1's place. 6 is in the 10's place. 3 is in the 100's place. 2 is in the 1000's place. And lastly, 1 is in the 10,000's place. Good. Step 2. Create a table which would separate each digits. The number of digits will determine how many columns we will create, and at this time we have 5 digits, therefore we should have 5 columns. And put 4 rows to complete the table. See the given table. Step 3. Use number disks to represent each place value. I will do it first and will try to explain later. Remember, the number in each place value will determine the number of disks to be used. Let me explain how it will be done. In the number 12,364, the number in the 1's place is 4, therefore 4 disks with a mark of 1 will be used. Six is in the 10's place, therefore 6 disks with a mark of 10 will be used. 3 is in the 100's place, therefore 3 disks with a mark of 100 will be used. Also notice that the mark in the disk are numbers that represents the place value. 1 for the 1's place. 10 for the 10's place. 100 for the 100's place and so on. Now let us continue. 2 is in the 1000's place, therefore 2 disks will be used. And lastly, 1 is in the 10,000's place, therefore 1 disk will be used. Now, it will be easy for you to represent numbers, using number disks. Let us have another example. At this moment, number disks are already given, and our task is to find out what the number is. Now let's begin to solve the problem. Let's start from the right side of the table. Let us see how many disks are in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place. How many disks are found in the ones place? Correct. There are four disks in the ones place, therefore we write four ones in the second row, in line with the number. Take note, four, represent the number of disks, and ones, for the place value. Next, we just write number four on the third row. Now, how about the tens place? Do you see any disks? There's no disk found in the tens place, what number do you think would represent this? Very good. Zero. 
So we put zero tens to the second row, and the number zero to the third row inline, with the row in the tens place. Doing the same process to the hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands place, we have Therefore, the number is 35,604. Great! Now, you know how to represent numbers using number disks. Remember, you can always review the video for the enhancement of your learning. See you next time!